In order to DIT, you'll need a couple of things. You'll need a cloning software, such as DaVinci Resolve, Shotput Pro, or Silverstack. Resolve is free, and it's what the school is sort of based in, so it's probably what you'll be using. You also need drives, such as this bare drive. They're cheap, you get a lot of storage space on them, but you'll need one of these docks in order to use them. Uh, this will plug into your computer and let you read the drive. 7200 RPM is better, that means it spins faster, it has better read-write, but obviously that's more expensive. And now you're on set. All of a sudden, someone walks up to you and hands you one of these things. This is the card that comes from the red camera. It's got all of the footage on it, so you be very careful with it. You stick it in this thing, and this plugs into your computer. You open DaVinci Resolve, and you can see your stuff. You look at one of the clips, you check if it plays back at a good speed so that you can review it. If not, you come down, click on this menu, and then you go to Camera Raw, and here you can set some parameters, such as choosing the red camera, and then choosing the decode quality. Uh, better will give you better quality, but worse playback. Save, and then your playback should be 24, and then you can review the footage and make sure it all looks good. Once that's done, you clone your footage by being in the media window, selecting the clone tool, adding a job into it, and then you'll see you have a slot for source and for destination. You're going to want to drag the card, it'll be A00 something or other, put that in source, and then for the destination, you want to put whatever drive you have, it should be labeled, organized by day, and you add that into the destination, the folder that you want the card to clone into. And then you simply hit clone down over here, and you're on your way. Now, what you can do is you can do multiple jobs at once. So if you add job, you can bring things over to the source and destination of other jobs that you have in the ready and then you just need to select the jobs that you want to happen and hit clone. It'll then do them one by one, and you can walk away, go get crafty while you're waiting for that four hour dump to finish. Other things you can do in order to kill some time as DIT if you don't have a clone going on is make screenshots of the footage, keep those organized so that way if the DP wants to see something that they've already shot, you can just pull up screenshots for them in case you have a clone running, and then uh, everyone's happy. You can clone your footage, and the DP can see what they want to see.